Unity Software is the world's leading platform for creating video games and 3D environments. Despite impressive growth, the stock has badly underperformed, falling over 90% since its 2021 high. At the latest price, the company has a market cap of $7.3 billion, with $1.2 billion of cash and investments and $2.2 billion of long-term debt. The enterprise value is $8.3 billion. Revenue over the last 12 months comes to $2.2 billion, with $494 million of a adjusted EBITDA and 184 million of free cash flow. However, a large chunk of stock-based compensation means that Unity isn't profitable with negative 864 million of net income reported. In fact, Unity hasn't reported any profitable years in its recent history. The story of Unity Software is one of mismanagement and missed opportunity. The company's original game engine has always been strong, but management entered into a number of expensive acquisitions to grow the company which haven't all paid off. The company's bid for advertising business Iron Source was criticised from the beginning. Meanwhile, revenue in the most recent quarter fell by 8%. Unity shot itself in the foot by changing the pricing of its product. Previously, game developers only paid a fixed annual licensing fee to use the Unity software, but Unity tried to increase revenue by taking a share of every installation of a game developed on Unity's engine. Developers were up in arms and many left the platform for rival engines. Unity eventually backtracked, but they did keep the new pricing structure for larger customers. In response to the turmoil, Unity has made a number of changes. A service agreement with Weta Digital, which Unity bought for $1.6 billion, has been terminated. The hardware business has been cut and about a quarter of staff laid off. Those layoffs will help reduce stock-based compensation, which will move the company closer to profitability. New CEO Matt Bromberg has also been brought in from Zynga to turn the company around. The idea is for Unity to be smaller, more nimble and more focused on games. The reality, however, is that Unity still has a lot of work to do. The company has now lost the trust of developers, employees and shareholders. Meanwhile, AppLovin has moved in to dominate on the advertising side. Given that platform businesses often tend to be winner-takes-all, that side of the business may be hard for Unity to recover. Unity's plan to get smaller and more focused can get the company on the right track and moving in the right direction. But the current enterprise value, over $8 billion, which is almost four times sales, still prices in a decent amount of growth. That valuation may need to come down even further if Unity really is shrinking its business. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in Unity stock. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.